All right, I got done with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. First off, let's show the merch before we do the review. So, Deadpool cup. I obviously ordered the rest of the cups. Has baby pool on the top. That one's pretty cool. If you went to one with a bar, you could buy an alcoholic drink and a tiki looking one for these characters, which is pretty cool. You know, obviously it's all done by hand, I think, on them. Pretty cool, really solid mugs. Of course, the Wolverine Dussy, which I gotta rate a 10 out of 10 if you know it. I'm not sure who know. And last but not least, Headpool with the spinning head popcorn bucket. Another 10 out of 10s. Awesome. Now, how did the film hold up? Did I like it? Did I not like it? Is it overhyped? Did Hugh Jackman sell? Did Ryan Reynolds sell? How are the cameos? How was the plot? Blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to talk about the basic simple. The plot. Now, take in mind, I'm doing this from a critic perspective. So I am going to go 100% non-biased. How I actually felt, you know, well, it kind of has to be biased, I guess. How I actually felt. Did I enjoy it? Whatever, you know. Plot. I think the plot was terrible. And now in the sense of... The plot being terrible, I mean, like, it was way too fast-paced. It wasn't a long enough movie. Yes, you could say it was two hours and seven minutes, but realistically, without the credits, it was like an hour and 47 minutes or something like that with a post credit scene that fell short and did not provide any future content, did not show any hints, no nothing, was just very... It wasn't funny. Um... For the plot part, you know, it there was good parts and there was bad parts. Wolverine and Deadpool's chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman obviously felt very comic book related where like, you know, Deadpool's super annoying and Wolverine's just like, shut up the whole time, you know, and they fight and they bicker and they argue and it's great. But there was a lot of jokes to me personally that fell through when I say that kind of like in Deadpool 2 when Deadpool's dying and he just won't die and you're like, die already, you know, like that. Whereas in this movie, they were they were really pushing it. They were hating on Disney. They were doing a lot of things that were... They, there were some funny jokes, and then there was a lot of unfunny jokes. And just a lot of jokes that I kind of looked at myself and looked around when people were laughing, even my wife and all them, and I was just kind of like, did I not get it? What was going on? Like, it just wasn't funny to me, honestly. It felt kind of like how people do say, like, skibbity toilet or whatever that's supposed to mean. Stuff like that. Like, just wasn't funny. And that makes me sound old saying that, but it just wasn't funny. Um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was the the touch of the crop. Amazing character, obviously meshed well with Wolver or with Deadpool. And I loved Dogpool. I loved every single moment we got with Dogpool. I loved Coolpool. Every moment we got with Coolpool, uh, general funny together where it was Deadpool and Coolpool, kind of like the mix between arguing over Dogpool. Um, you know the jokes with the <coughs> with the Honda, whatever that car was. You know there was a lot of good jokes. You know obviously bringing back certain characters like i believe his oh peter peter was great you know saying that there's a peter in every universe and he's the super cool deadpool which is awesome the fight choreography was great deadpool and wolverine's two fights against each other deadpool and wolverine against all the other deadpool core was amazing um the cow for me fell off whereas deadpool's wide eyes worked and looked good wolverine's cow didn't work for me did just the eyes didn't work for me just didn't look good really took away the emotion unlike how deadpool you could see a lot of the emotion because he had the mouth part as well um but i mean man th the fight choreography was so good and the characters felt great and then okay we need to talk about the villain cassandra nova how did she hold up if she wasn't in the movie you wouldn't have known any different but when she was she was creepy the way she would touch you and like put her fingers through your eye sockets and stuff and just like go into your mind and how she was trying to mess with wolverine and whatnot great character once again felt like a threat felt terrifying she killed johnny storm in one second felt like a real threat a really scary character the problem i had is pyro shot her and she was dying and they had the juggernaut helmet on her and she's they're like if we take this off you're not gonna kill us right and she's like no I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to rip you apart, blah, blah, blah. And then they take it off. And she's like, oh, thank you so much for taking it off. Go on your way. Here's a sling ring that I'm going to use to open the portal that I killed this Doctor Strange and wore his skin for four days. Like, she felt demented and terrifying. And then she just flipped. It was how you guys felt with the Acolyte where they talked about how May was like good to bad to good. Cassandra Nova was bad. 
kind of was good and let them go and then was trying to destroy the entire multiverse again. Paradox felt more like a threat. Um, the cameos. Now, this is something big that I want to point out. The cameos in this movie did nothing. There was no purpose to the cameos. You wouldn't have made a difference if, once again, if they weren't in it. At least Multiverse of Madnesses explained incursions, explained the Illuminati, explained the, you know, the multiverse. This didn't matter. Were they cool? Yes. Was Blade cool? Yes. Was Gambit super annoying? The re the way they had him just speaking another language the whole time was just super annoying and not funny. That was where I really like was like, this is childish jokes. Like they weren't funny jokes. Like those weren't. There was a lot of jokes where they were funny, like Cool Pool getting shot to death and stuff like that. Um, Blade bragging, Electra, X twenty three. But once again, like they brought an X twenty three, said she was from Logan's timeline which is obviously the same as Deadpool's timeline now, which is 10005. And then at the end, they bring her back without really any explanation besides Deadpool saying if they could do a favor for him. And she's sitting with Logan at the party, which I'm like, but why? That's not her Logan. And she's not in the 616 or 1005. Like, she, I, I, she was in 11005, but Wolverine wasn't. <clears throat> Logan was. It just... There was a lot of not thinking. You can tell they didn't think. As for the runtime, once again, I felt like it was too short. I felt like a lot of scenes were just cut like like really quick. Like where you're like, why isn't this scene longer? Or how are we getting to the ending so fast? And I never felt a sense of fear. Like I never felt like Deadpool's world was actually going to go away. Like I knew it was going to be fine. Because a lot of the trailers ruined it for us. But at the same time, going in, I don't think about trailers. It just... It just a lot of it just didn't work for me, if I'm being honest with you. And it's by no means a bad movie because once again, the character chemistry was great, the performances were great, the CGI looked great, the action choreography was great. Killing off villains once again, lackluster plot, too fast pacing, certain things like that brought it down for me. So realistically, in the end, I know this isn't a very long review, but I know you guys like it a little bit short and sweet. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I'm going to see it again um, probably this weekend, and I'm obviously going to the Rob Liefeld event next week. But if it came down to it, this movie just wasn't my No Way Home. No Way Home still sits up there for me on the pedestal for best movie after Infinity War. Um, without further said, you know, let me know what you guys thought. What was your favorite part about the movie? Did you have any complaints? Once again, I'm not telling anybody to hate. It wasn't a bad movie just wasn't the best movie if i had to rate the three deadpools it'd be deadpool one deadpool and wolverine deadpool two let me know what you guys think and i'll catch y'all in the next one